Welcome to Weekly Battle Feed. This week's episode is brought to you by Murder Mook's Battle Rap Skype Tutoring. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Can you imagine if that was real? The world's most respected. Murder Mook recently set up a battle rap mentoring program online with prices ranging from $500 to $3,000. It includes one on one Skype sessions, Instagram shoutouts, and <laughs> personal mind training. Not only that, but the thumbnail for the cell page is a screenshot from a cell phone at 8% for Luxor Hair, a high-end hair extension selling site. The Battle of the Zay Cadillac Ron Memorial Battle Royal recently dropped, with Frank Stacks being declared the winner. In the third round, XI checked his phone to notice his home screen was still there and immediately left in a panic, which prompted Caustic to become vocally upset and threw off a lot of his third round. Not the most professional thing in the world, but I can think of one Cali battle rapper that could certainly stand there and withstand three rounds of the rumble just perfectly. Hustle every night and day, boy, I got my mind on cake. King of the Dot announced a shitload of world domination announcements. For the upcoming event, including Vesterus vs. Tummy, Panut vs. Shot Tip, Aaron Salmon vs. Charles Clip, A Hundred Bullets vs. Deal Reel, Really Stick vs. Dund, and Aerosol vs. Cortex. A lot of great battles came out this week as well. Rum Nitty vs. Charlie Clips, DDS vs. Aftershock, Isaac Knox vs. Copacetic, Sketch Menace vs. Ellipsis, The Swords vs. Cheddar Cheese, Gun Title vs. NWX, SM vs. Robo, and Dunch vs. Robo. Man, taking two opponents like Dunch and SM back to back is like the battle rap equivalent of being hit by a car, only to promptly stand up and request to be hit by a car. Hey, buzz is buzz. Aside from that, I don't think I'm forgetting anything, really. Oh yeah, E. Farrell and Madflex dropped the best battle of the summer, and Madflex was announced for world domination against Aftershock. Haha, <laughs> take that aftershock, bitch, pussy bitch. I heard that shit you said in your first round of the GZ title match. You thought you were trying to be slick? Nuh uh. Karma's a bitch. You're gonna die. I hope you're happy. Ooh, I can't wait to watch you lose. Oh my god. Say my name again. Say it again. Please, say it again. You won't. You're not going to. Fredo recently had a career performance against Bender at the most recent Battles at the Bunker event in Los Angeles. Before the event, I stopped by his hotel room, unannounced and uninvited, to get his thoughts on the battle and where he's at in the battle rap community. Take a look. What's good? Ruin your day. Laughing stock. I'm here doing an interview with the kid Fredo Algebra. Fredo, how you doing? The kid Fredo. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? You made me feel that young over here. Fredo, of course, just celebrated his big 23rd birthday, celebrated with a rolly. We're here, battles at the bunker. And you're uh, one of the top battles. You're battling Bender. How are you feeling about that? Are you feeling good or are you just feeling terrible? I'm terrified right now. He's a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. Uh, a lot of people say we have like kind of similar styles. Um, I guess today we're going to figure out the, the difference, you know what I mean? Obviously, people compare you. Do you think the comparisons are valid? Do you think you guys rap the same? Do you guys yes, Are you the same styles or are the fans just wrong? Um, you could say the fans are wrong. That's kind of what it's for. Yeah, kind of. The, fan, the fans are kind of wrong, I feel, because, uh, well, you know, we have that same, like, uh, multi-style, multi-heavy style, but that's where it kind of stops after that, you know? Like, I feel like I have uh, different content, different style, way different style. Do you think there's a thing amongst promoters uh, wanting to ba uh, put big battlers, like, big size battlers against each other? Do you feel like that's a thing going on? Oh. Have you ever fallen victim to that besides this battle? Yeah, reverse live. Uh, you talking about like big versus big, right? Yeah, yeah, just just large dudes for whatever reason, like Bender, Sid Vicious. If there's Big T versus whoever, you know, it's, they apparently like to match big guys versus big guys. Am I? Is that weird? Is that not the case? Um, I think I think it's pretty interesting. It, it, it matches up for a pretty interesting like uh, matchup when you put two little you know chunky guys together. Like me versus Reverse Live was a crazy battle. I battled also Big Mox in Hawaii, and that's one big motherfucker too. So. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting when when you got a you know chubby dude versus chubby dude. Have you ever been offered like a G Main Frost or SM or those guys? Oh, SM the people offered me, but SM's the homie, and I think you know I I had no no disrespect to anybody. I'm just I just have a 
a preference now to battle. I rather I'm gonna be p- a lot more picky and choosy. Understandably, you gotta you gotta pick your cards, especially for someone like you who's been battling forever. As you all know, he battled back in the dial-up days. <laughs> school emails, man. When you're in high school, you have an email for your class. You have your your student email. What, before that, <laughs> did you ever fuck with the old rapmusic.com? That's how they set up grind time battles like ten years oh, ago. Oh, um, I wasn't really a internet heavy dude back in the day. I you're just, still not. Is it fair to say you're not? Yeah, yeah. I'm just. I, I just like what I like and. I display what I, I, mean, I portray what I portray because that's what, what, it, what it really is, you know, so. What's your favorite pop vinyl at your collection? Ooh, I knew you were going to ask me that. Um, well, I just got Violet Beauregard, the Blueberry, the summer exclusive. She's pretty tight. Bret Hart. I don't know, man. Maybe Robocop. I think Robocop. Robocop or Voltron. Who's your favorite wrestler from the 90s? Oh, my God. Arn Anderson. Arn Anderson first and then probably like. Such a good choice. Yeah, dude, he's a beast, man. That's double A. Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is a good one. Bret Hart. Bret Hart. I like Bret Hart a lot. What's your favorite Save by the Bell episode? Ooh, senior cut day when, when Zach couldn't cut. <laughs> he couldn't cut, so he had to like, but he bet Slater that he could meet him everywhere they went for senior cut day and not and be at school at the same time. So that was pretty. That was a pretty cool one. That was a pretty cool episode. That's the one I remember so far. Are you Filipino? Yes, sir. How's your Tagalog? Uh, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, it's, it's Do you know Spanish at all? Yeah, poquito, you know, poquito, you know. Because that's the thing in, in, in the Philippines, right? Is there's, there's a Spanish influence there. There is, there is. Uh, you know, it's, we got colonized by them in, uh, I don't know, when, when, what, 1800? I'm not too sure, but we got colonized by them. And that's why all of our names are all Spanish. You know, Alfred, Gerardo, Gerardo, Spanish name, you know. Who would win in a battle between you and Aspire? <laughs> Uh, he already lost. Like, I still have the bars in my BlackBerry. If I could ever open it, you're done. This was dead. <laughs> I got sent back from that battle, uh, by the way. When I, I got to, I got to Vancouver, and that's when they found out that I had some stupid little shit on my record. And then uh, I could cuss on this, right? Yeah, yeah. I had some dumb ass shit on my record or whatever. I got it expunged so I could go to Canada now. And I don't know if that's what, you know, Toronto. I need to go to Toronto soon. These fools are bullshit. You heard it right here. Fredo confirmed world domination nine. <laughs> Ruin your day. We out. <laughs>